Welcome to Bengaluru, the Silicon Valley of India, where innovation meets infrastructure. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Khushi Murthy pursuing my Bachelor's in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science from Nitaminakshi Institute of Technology and this video is made under the guidance of Mrs. Maulia HV Madam, Department of Civil Engineering, Nitaminakshi Institute of Technology. To begin with, when you think of Bengaluru, what comes to your mind? Maybe it's the tech parks, the vibrant cafes, or unfortunately, a never-ending traffic jam. But let's imagine something completely different. A city where electric buses hum quietly through the tree-lined streets. Lakes are crystal clear and thriving with life. And every building rooftop glows with solar panels. Sounds futuristic, right? But it's not impossible. In fact, it might be our future. Today, I invite you to explore one important question with me. Can Bengaluru become India's next green capital? Now, before we talk about Bengaluru, let's define what it means to be a green city. Is it just a city covered with trees or gardens? Or is it something more? A green city integrates ecological principles into urban planning. It prioritizes renewable energy, efficient waste management and promotes biodiversity. It creates spaces that accommodate nature alongside the urban development. It's the city which works in harmony with the environment. Let's think of cities like Copenhagen. Amsterdam and Singapore. These cities are blending high-tech innovation with nature-positive design. They are walkable, breathable and built for the future. Now let's shift our focus to Bengaluru. It isn't just the Silicon Valley of India. It is one of the cities uniquely positioned to lead a green revolution. But why? Firstly, the weather here is naturally mild, reducing the need for extreme energy use. Secondly, the city is a hotspot for startups and young talent, especially in the sustainability and electric mo mobility sectors. Bengaluru has over 2000 green startups focusing on solar energy, water conservation, clean transportation and sustainable architecture. The knowledge and innovation are already here. All we need is to just implement them at the large scale. But here is the reality check. Despite all its potential, Bengaluru is facing some serious environmental challenges. Lakes are polluted and shrinking. Remember the Balandur Lake incident? It's known for catching fire due to the toxic foam. Waste segregation is really, really poor, with much of it ending up into landfills. Tree cover has decreased by over 80% in just a few decades. It's due to the unplanned development. The traffic congestion is one of the worst in the country, with each citizen losing around 240 hours per year in, while just stuck in the traffic. These issues are not just environmental, they affect the health, economy and overall quality of life of each and every citizen. But how do we fix this? One word, engineering, the sustainable engineering. It is the key to build 
eco cities it means designing buildings that use less water and energy it means creating smart sensors that track the pollution in bengaluru some colleges like indian institute of science nmit and rv college are leading this transformation students here and even the researchers are building vertical gardens developing bio concrete and testing solar powered sewage treatment plants these aren't just academic experiments they are real and scalable solutions the city's innovation ecosystem fosters sustainability through partnerships among startups educational institutions and government bodies and these institutions are the example for that higher education institutions are driving the search in sustainable practices but now what needs to be happen in the next what needs to happen to make bengaluru truly green let's see that firstly we have to revive our lakes restore the natural water bodies and not let the foam get aggregated secondly promote electronic vehicles and use public transport which is the most important thing for a city to become a green city making the public transport a go to option thirdly enforce green building laws ensure every new building uses sustainable material and rainwater harvesting four local composting and solar grids set up decentralized systems at the neighborhood level fifth community engagement residents should be the part of the solution and not just the passive observers because it all begins with a single step last pollution and waste management we all know that bengaluru faces severe pollution issues particularly in its water bodies just like we saw about the pelandur lake which is notorious waste segregation is inadequate but it has to be concerned but how do we do it by engaging the community and youth initiatives community involvement is crucial for sustainable and urban development citizens especially youth are actively engaging in environmental initiatives such as tree planting local composting efforts and climate tech innovations shaping bengaluru's greener future the real power lies within us the citizens especially the youth students engineers entrepreneurs and even school kids are stepping up from organizing green drives to launching climate tech apps bengaluru's people are showing what civic action looks like and this kind of bottom up movement is exactly what will make our city greener faster and smarter it's not just about the city it's about the country so can bengaluru become india's green capital what do you think the answer might be the yes or no well the answer is yes not just because of its tech talent or weather but because of its people of everyone living there and striving hard not just to make their lives easier but also make each and every person's life easier who is living in the city in the country and promoting sustainability in each and every way they can but it won't happen by itself right it needs action from the government from the private sector and from you all so i kindly request each and every one of you to take a step to take initiative and promote our city to be a green city if you found this video informative hit a like drop a comment about what green change you need in your city 
might be Bengaluru or might be any corner of India and share this video with your friends. Let's start a conversation that leads to action. Bengaluru's future is in our hands. India's green future is in our hands. Jai Hind. Thank you all.